I leave the gym the prior day of training, I'm already visualizing the next day's workout in my mind. So when I drive back and forth to the gym, when I get home after training, you know, I train right now really late at night. I'm training, this is something different I've done now this year, is I'm training at around 10 o'clock at night. Okay, so I eat a lot of food during the day and I train really late. Of course, in Las Vegas, the gyms are 24 hours, so that's that's the great experience living in Las Vegas, but um, I train about 10 o'clock, but that gives me all days to kind of visualize what I'm gonna do in the workout. So when I get to the gym and when I'm training at home, and like I said, I'm a creature habit, I already know exactly, I could basically close my eyes and I already put myself through the workout you know, 20 times that day. So I know exactly in my head, okay, this is all planned out. So I don't need to log anything. Um, I know exactly going to the gym, what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna start with, how much weight I'm gonna do. I already have it in my mind. The only thing I don't really do is I don't count repetition ranges. So a lot of times when I'm at the gym, you know, I get under the weight and I say, okay, I'm just gonna go until I start to feel a really heavy burn. And that's how many reps I'm gonna do. But I can kind of calculate how much weight I'm gonna use. I really just picture the muscle working as much as it possibly can and put that mind to muscle connection, which is really hard and it's only done through the experience of years of training. A lot of people don't realize what that is because they haven't been training long enough, but you really can feel the muscle work, you can feel, really feel it contract. So right now I'm in my off season and my body weight today is um, just slightly under 300 pounds. So. I put on probably about 25 pounds in, a, in one month right now. As I said, I took three months off. So um, I'm on the way up and I eat about 6,500 calories a day. I don't target calories as much as I target the combinations of what those calories are. So I eat about seven meals and I eat every two and a half to three hours. Um, right now focusing mainly on um, chicken and steak and egg whites and some protein powders for my protein sources. And for carbohydrates, I'll mainly eat rice and potatoes, some pasta, one pasta meal a day, uh, and then of course some simple sugars, uh, carbohydrate drinks, whatever. Um, any, any meal ranges from 12 to 16 ounces of beef or chicken, and then I eat 100 carbohydrates of rice or, or potatoes each meal. So, it's not uncommon for me on a day to eat 1,000 grams of carbohydrates, uh, 450 to 500 grams of protein a day, and I add such fats as avocado, uh, fish oils, I use egg yolks, of course we get fats from the meats, um, and almond butter. In between meals, with meals, uh, sometimes with my shakes, um, the common meals I use uh, avocado on, I usually have at least uh, two whole avocado, avocados a day, but I split them in halves. So I use them on a lot of my chicken and rice, I use them on breakfast with my egg whites. I uh, give it a little more flavor and a little extra calorie boost. Something different I've done in the last um, two years since my Mr. Olympia comeback in 2009 is adding the avocado and the almond butter and has extra calories and fats. I never was a big fat user. A lot of you guys have followed my nutrition for years past understood that I basically did carbohydrates and, and protein and uh, tried to steer away from much fat as possible. And I've, I've done the experience of low carbohydrate dieting, I've done the experience of very high carbohydrate dieting, but for me at my body weight at this present time, this seems to be the most sufficient thing for me um, and the balance of you know where I'm actually staying in decent shape. Of course, I'm not trying to get any leaner right now. I actually am trying to get leaner, but I'm trying to gain weight at the same time, so I don't perform any cardiovascular training. I work out five days a week, and I do usually one body part a day, um, meaning I do chest one day, back one day, I do legs, quads, and hamstrings together, shoulders, back. So I do all grouping of body parts that way, just once a day training, no cardiovascular whatsoever. So I'm really trying to gain weight at this point. And as I you know, get through the year, I try to recalculate everything. I'm, I'm on basically this plan until probably March, and then I'll see where my body's at. Um, I'm trying not to let my weight get over about uh, 305 pounds as a maximum I'll go, because I compete about 265, okay? So, as big and lean as possible, that's my goal for 2011, and uh, of course, try to stay you know, in fit shape.